Okay, so one thing I want to talk about on here is Manchester United. I don't know if I've ever said it on here before, but I am a Man United fan and have been for a very long time. Admittedly, it's gotten a little bit more difficult in recent years to get psyched up and G'd up for the big games. Knowing full well for a fact we may not win because it's been so poor since fucking Alex Ferguson left, but I'm still a fan nonetheless. But this morning I woke up to the news that Man United had sacked their manager Jose Mourinho, which gave me a little bit of mixed emotions because as well as being a fan of Man United, I'm also a big fan of Jose Mourinho. Mourinho, I just don't think that this was the right club for him at this moment in time. Now, that's not to say that I'm putting the blame for our recent run of results solely on his shoulders. I think he is a massive part to blame, but I think there are also a number of contributor factors that kind of sealed the last nail in the coffin for Jose Mourinho. Now, saying that, some people might suggest that he should have gone last season or that finishing second to that Manchester City team in the 2017-18 season was not good enough. To me, I'm more than happy with finishing second that year because, to be honest, Manchester City were a different from beast that year. Like, they were amazing. They were unstoppable. They got 100 points in the Premier League, which, if I'm not wrong, I think is a new record for the Premier League. Liverpool have started to play the best football over the last couple of years since the 80s. Like, they are turning themselves into genuine title contenders. Now, saying that, Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool still has not won anything. Whereas Jose Mourinho at Manchester United has won the Community Shield, which I know some people look down on that. Not a domestic trophy. It's not a point. It's still a fucking trophy, so fuck off. He's also won the Europa League, if I'm not mistaken, and I think maybe one of a cup, but to us, I'm not 100% sure. My facts are not bang on point at the moment, okay? This is just my opinion on things. So, just like Jose Mourinho said last season, I see us finishing second then as a massive, massive achievement. And then coming into this season, we should have been improved. We should have gotten better, especially considering we knew that every other club in the league was going to do that. Every other club in the Premier League was going to improve to try and better their performance from last season. Liverpool have done it. Arsenal have done it. Chelsea have done it. Manchester City have done it. The team who won the league last season by with 100 points have improved. Manchester United on the other hand have not. And that I think is a major, major issue. So the story is Jose Mourinho comes in with a list of centre-backs, defenders, he would like Manchester United to purchase because he says the players we currently have aren't doing the job he wants and he thinks in order to get a better position in the league this season we would need to improve our back line. Reasonable logic, fair enough. The board then turn around and say no we're not getting to these players. Now I don't know what the specific reasoning was for this. They could have seen the players Jose Mourinho wanted as too expensive as not available. They could have been like okay you've already bought in certain players for your back line. Use the ones you've got. Like I said I don't know the specific reason but all we got reported in the media which let's be honest we all know in football is fucking gospel. I watched this that the board had said no. Now my argument to that would be then if the board have said no, they should have offered one or two alternatives rather than just a flat out rejection. It should even be, no, you work with what you've got, you are the manager, it is your job to manage these players and turn them into title contenders, or if you don't like these players, sell them and then use the money you've made off those sales to replace the players. Either one of those two would have been a great fucking response. I think they would have worked out brilliantly and he would have been easily able to buy different and better centre backs or better players even to replace the ones that he didn't like in the squad. But an argument I have here is the players he currently has the ones that he supposedly brought in during his tenure at Manchester United, were they brought in by him or were they brought in by a recruitment team? Because I personally don't know. I don't know who deals with transfers at Manchester United, whether it's the manager, whether it's a team set up by the board, whether it's a team set up by the manager. I specifically don't know. But saying that, as a fan, it is my opinion that when a football club hires a manager, especially one as big as Jose Mourinho, we all know who he is, let's be honest, they should do whatever they can then to help this manager achieve the goals that they're telling him to go for. For instance, winning the league, winning Champions League, blah, 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 blah. It is the club's job then to get behind the manager and back him, which obviously now brings me on to uh, my second point. I guess if we look at Jose Mourinho's tenure at Manchester United, it has been filled with spats, arguments, disagreements with players. Not only that, it's been in the media as well. So it's not like they're doing this behind closed doors, where like Alex Ferguson has previously said in many, many interviews, if he has a problem with a player, he will always, always deal with them behind closed doors. When it comes to dealing with it in the media in the public eye, he will back his players 100%, which I think is the right way to do it. This is where Mourinho has categorically got stuff wrong. The most notable target for Mourinho's criticism though has been Paul Pogba. Brought him back for 89 million, expecting him to do great things and shine massively just like he did at Juventus. Did it again at the World Cup this year. He was a great player for France at this year's World Cup, was an integral to their championship. However, as soon as he puts on that Manchester United shirt though, he is unable to replicate that kind of performance, which is a massive, 
massive fucking problem. Now, the argument players have to that, which Paul Pogba has said in the media again, was that he is playing his best, it is up to the manager to manage him, which fair argument, okay, that is a massively fair argument, okay? If you don't feel like your boss is doing the, doing his best to get the best out of you, you have the right to challenge him. Behind closed doors, this is Manchester United, one of the biggest clubs in the world, is now being turned into a fucking laughing stock. And at that point, it is up to the board of directors who hire Mourinho, who pay the players wages, to then turn around and say, okay, we're either going to back the manager or we're going to back the player. As a fan of the football club, it should be the manager who gets the backing. As soon as a player starts to see himself as too big for a club and sees that he can get away with whatever the fuck he wants, he needs to go. He needs to be out that door because he is not doing anything for the club. He is doing stuff for himself and to build up his own profile. But like I said, today I woke up to news that Jose Mourinho has been sacked. Now to me, that screams that they are backing the players and the players have the run of the dressing room. If they don't get a manager they don't like or they don't want to perform for, that next manager is out the door too, which I find fucking ridiculous. As soon as you give in to the employees, they now run the place. The, the inmates now run the fucking asylum. And we're just now turning Manchester United into a fucking laughing stock. For me, Jose Mourinho has been the best manager we've had over the last six or seven years. We've had Louis van Gaal, David Moyes, Ryan Giggs as interim, and Jose Mourinho, who I think, like I said, has been the best one out of that group there. Now, admittedly, Jose Mourinho is seen as a more defensive coach, and he prefers to buy big name players, whereas Manchester United as a club prefer coaches who are able to develop young players who play fast attacking football. That is what they claim to be their ethos, and they hire Jose Mourinho anyway, knowing full well what they were getting, which I think was a fucking mistake on that part if they knew specifically that he wasn't the man to do what they wanted. They, they shouldn't have hired him in the first place. Not to say I'm not grateful to the work he has done, because I am, he has won us a few trophies, but I just don't think he was ever really the man Manchester United wanted. I feel I feel like it may have been more of a panic signing and more of a signing of intent rather than this is what we need, this is what we want. Now saying that, I've seen a few names be linked with Manchester United today, and Mauricio Pochettino, Zinedine Zidane, I think I saw Gary Neville's name up there somewhere, could be wrong on that one, but personally I don't know who I want or who I think should take Manchester United forward, I'm at a fucking loss right now, I think Guardiola would have been an amazing fucking appointment before he came to Man City, now my opinion never ever gonna happen, so what I wanna know, does it, do any of you guys watching this video now, do any of you agree with anything I've said, disagree with anything I've said, please leave a comment telling me that, do you have any sort of candidate you think would be an ideal manager for Manchester United, like I said I personally don't know, this is just an opinion of me, someone who's not massively educated on it, but still has an opinion and wants to voice it, if you have anything you want to say, please leave it in the comment section down below, I will read it, I will get back to it, and I will see you guys in a few days for another video, peace out.